I'm here at the Urban Forestry Center, and, and today I'm going to talk about the moose. The moose is the largest deer in the world, and it's also the largest animal in the world that has antlers. It's 11 feet long, 9 feet tall, weighs 2 tons, and it has the biggest antlers of any deer in the world. Its antlers are 8 feet wide and weigh 100 pounds, and moose have 40 tines on their antlers, 20 on each antler. I'm going to have to speak a little loudly because it's really windy. Um, moose like to hang out in water. They like to eat plants both on land and in the water. And on land, they can run up to 50 miles an hour. In the water, they can hit 15 miles an hour. And they've actually been known to dive as deep as 20 feet and hold their breath for one minute. Like all male deer, male moose fight with their antlers, and that's called rutting. If a male moose wants to challenge another male moose, he does a sway act with his antlers. And if the other male moose accepts the challenge, he does the sway act too. And then they charge and push each other with their antlers. They'll fight either until one of them loses an antler, or gets injured, or gets tired. They've sometimes even been known to die while fighting, and in both the moose and the elk, their clash forces are 80% of their body weight, so a one-ton elk has a clash force of 1,600 pounds per square inch, and a two-ton moose has a clash force of 1.6 tons per square inch. 1,600 pounds per square inch is like getting hit by three football players, and 1.6 tons per square inch is like getting pinned underneath Two sumo wrestlers. Moose are the bulldozers of headbangers because their antlers kind of look like the giant blade on a bulldozer, and they've even been known to ram freight trains. Moose may be the largest deer alive today, but the largest deer that ever lived was the Irish elk. Its scientific name is Megaloceros. It died out just 8,000 years ago. It also had the largest antlers of any deer that ever lived. Its antlers were 14 feet wide and weighed 100 pounds, the same weight as moose antlers, but almost twice as wide. And another ancestor of the modern-day moose was the giant stag moose. Moose don't just use their antlers for fighting. A moose can also use his antlers to scratch an itch on his foot. But despite having an impressive rack of antlers, the moose can't effectively use them against its predators. Its predators are bears, cougars, and wolves. And sometimes moose will even mistake husky dogs for wolves. <coughs> and that thing underneath a moose's chin is called a dewlap. No one knows what it's for, but all moose have them. As we all know, most moose are brown, but Amazingly, there's actually a rare color in moose. Some moose are white. White moose, however, are not albinos. They're freeholders from the Ice Age, because back during the Ice Age, a lot of moose used to be white because of the snow. Also, you might not think it, but moose don't make a lot of sounds, but some of the sounds they will make is mook. That's moo with a K on the end. <laughs> And you think deer are harmless? Think again. Some deer can be dangerous. Moose have been known to charge at humans. Sorry about all the technical difficulties in this episode, but hopefully things will go smoother next time. Thanks for watching.